guys, it's Jamie, your crafty DIY guy, and I am back this time with a DIY project that is super, super easy. Now, I needed an entertainment center when I moved into my old condo, and I didn't have a lot of money. So I ended up finding these garage shelves at a yard sale. I think I paid about $15 for both of them, and uh, they are literally just those metal garage shelves with this MDF board kind of shelf. They're good and sturdy. They hold the TV. It's been great in a lot of ways, but you know, I moved into my house and I wanted something a little nicer. I wanted something to look a little sleeker, but I just don't have $600 to go out and spend on a new entertainment center. Also, I love the size of this. I love that industrial look that it has in my living room, but again, this MDM sh MDF shelf. So then I thought, hmm, wood grain contact paper. And then as you know, I ran out of wood grain contact paper. So I finished two of the shelves and then realized it didn't have any more. Then I went on a search across the country looking for more wood grain contact paper. And then I bought some this past weekend in New York and brought it home all the way with me to Georgia, packing it in my suitcase perfectly so it wouldn't get crushed. And then I went to my local store today and guess what I found? Tons of it, tons of dark grain contact paper. But that's okay because now I can finish my entertainment center. It'll look good. Now that I've got the size that I want, I'm gonna go ahead and peel the backing off. So let's go ahead and get my board out of the way. I'm going to peel this. Come on, friend. There we go. Go ahead and get this flat as possible. The good thing is, in this kind of initial stage, this stuff is really forgiving. Now, again, get it as flat as you can, and then just, you're gonna line up your board. For me, I'm having to line it up exactly on the edge. And then you can kind of shift it around and then you're going to push it down. Now remember, for me, it doesn't have to overlap onto my sides at all. It just literally has to go on that one part. So now you pull this tight and stick that down to there. And again, you're just kind of smashing out those air bubbles. And then I just go ahead and give it a quick tug just to make sure it's nice and tight. And again, pulling over those sides, smashing it down again, making sure that this is lined up. And then because this contact paper is not going to stick perfectly onto this MDF, what I'm also going to do is I don't know where I put it. Um, I, I am back. I found my roll of duct tape. And this is going to just help this contact paper stay onto this particle board, this MDF, because, you know, it's just not, it's just not a super smooth surface. It's kind of grainy. There's a little bit of texture to it. And you just want to make sure you are doing everything you can to keep this particle board covered with this great contact paper. And then when you flip it over, you've got a really cool looking wood board. Now you are going to have to go through and smooth out your, your air bubbles. It's just part of the process. But as you can see, once you do that, it looks amazing. Now on this side, there's a little bit of an edge showing, so I'll make sure that that goes on the back side. But other than that, look at that. That looks like a solid piece of beautiful wood board. So I am going to replace all six of these on the entertainment center and uh, re -zhuzh some of my stuff.
Okay, you guys, check it out. The Entertainment Center makeover is complete. All I did was simply take those MDF particle board shelves that came with this garage shelving, wrapped it in that Dollar Tree contact paper. I used six rolls. And now you can see that my entertainment center is complete. It looks richer, it looks more expensive, and it was relatively easy to do.